But hi, everyone. Uh, I think it's the second day, so most of you have met me by now. But if not, I'm Sailesh Patnaik. I'm a program officer with the education team at the Wikimedia Foundation. I've been in the movement for the last 12 years doing education, I think, from the last eight to 10 years, if roughly, you know. But today I'm very excited for this particular thing that I'm going to talk about, or we are going to talk about, which is the EduWiki Outreach Collaborators. But before starting my session, I want to give like an example, you know, like a person, I want to share a personal experience. So when I was a, when I was a movement organizer myself, it was very difficult for me at that time to find support. Yes, I would come to the international conferences, I would hear everything, you know, like all the experiences that people have learned from something. But it was difficult for me to like put it in my context or, you know, like think of like how would this happen? There is a global model, but how could this work in the work that I try to do? And in this term, you know, in this kind of a thing, it really helps when you have like a regional support. You have someone who who, will, who, who understand your context, who understand your local challenges, who understand the opportunities, and is a friend in need, I would say, yeah, who, who you can like collaborate with, who can work with, you know, to support you in that. How many of you here know about like peer support? Great, great. So today we are going to talk about peer support with the EduWiki Outreach Collaborators. So, Peer support is something like when someone who understand your context, you understand you like what like some expertise about your region or about the work that you do and provide support to like work together, collaborate together. So EduWiki Outreach Collaborators is uh, is a peer support network within the education community where the leaders from the education community come together to create or support programs for the community, from the community, by the community. So we have structured this peer support network into three groups. Uh, the three groups are of like community specialists, newsletter, and documentation specialists. So it's not like everything, everywhere, all at once. So it has been distributed so that we could not, or we should not like overwhelm one person with like, oh, you have to do like, everything that is available or you have to support everything with the community because at the end of the day this is also like a volunteer contribution so we won't appreciate the work the support that you are providing to the community to the to the volunteers in your region so the community specialists are more of like a regional role where each community has uh, each region has have their own community specialist we were meeting uh, our speakers or our panelists today and this is not a panel, but more of like a conversation hour, and you will hear more from them. Then we have the newsletter team. So I know it's been trending since yesterday about the newsletter, and Bukola gave an amazing speech at the end. She did an amazing workshop before that. So that's the amazing newsletter team we have. And then we have the documentation specialist. So one of the things that we struggle as a community is that we we do a lot of things. It's not like... We do not. We do a lot of things. But how do we disseminate that information? We walk in a free knowledge movement where the goal of the movement is to like, you know, sp spread the knowledge, disseminate the knowledge. But in terms of the work that we do, it's very hard to like find, you know, like what exactly is Wikimedia Indonesia doing? Do I know if I'm in India, the work that Wikimedia Indonesia is doing? Do I know what is Wikimedia Serbia is doing if I'm based in India? So it also helps like the, the documentation specialist is a group that is helping us to understand like how can we make like the regional documentation better how can it be easily available easily searchable and we are still like trying to figure out how is this possible is this meta or is it better is the best place to do it but we have created like some regional spaces on meta to make this happen uh, so this peer support group has been with the movement from the last two years. This is the second cohort of the EduWiki Outreach Collaborators. We have 24 participants from 14 different countries. This is where they're all based in. Oh, it's just disappeared. Okay, fine. So uh, we have like community members, 
not just community members. This, this is a peer support ne network and also in a way that there are staff from affiliates who are also part of this uh, Edubiki Outreach Collaborators. We have Nebosha, who's a Wiki community manager from Wikimedia Serbia. We have Alejandro Reyes, who's an education manager from Wikimedia Mexico. So we also have like, it's a, it's a mix of like staff and volunteers working together to help the education community, you know, to find that support and collaborate with each other. Uh, this is the last cohort. Uh, it says current members, but we are still trying to figure out like where does this Edwiki Outreach Collaborator stand? Uh, so we did some evaluation. Today we will be talking about that. And we have engaged with like 244 participants in 15, 13 different regional meetings. Uh, so it's very regional focus meetings. And even in the regional meetings for the first time, I met someone like from Cyprus, from Australia. Like Australia is so close to my country, but it, I, I've never worked with like an Australian community member who does work in education. But because of the regional meetings, I met like folks from these regions to like, you know, when they came out and they shared their work with us and they looked for opportunities. Oh, this is like Wikimedia Indonesia is doing. Maybe this is something that we can also replicate in our context. Uh, we have published like wonderful 20 education newsletter with 100 plus submissions. Thanks to Bukola, Ankan, Anthony and uh, Joni. Uh, and we're also working to make the regional documentation practices more visible. Uh, this has been some testimonials from the uh, participants who have been here uh, with us. Uh, there has been like a bigger regional peer support work happening. So you can see it's, uh, there's two groups right now. Uh, we don't have that for like other reasons, but for the Middle East and North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, they are like hundred something members in two groups. They talk, they talk to each other, they share resources, uh, they plan things together. So this was Eduwiki Outreach Collaborators. And I'm going to invite my friends and partners in crime, uh, Nebosha and Bukola to join me for a conversation time. And we will go on a deep dive into this regional approach towards like EduWiki network and what we have learned, what we have experienced. Uh, Bukola and Nebosha, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm Neboj Sharatković, Education Program Manager at um, Wikimedia Serbia. And um, I've been at uh, this uh, position from, um, for seven years already, almost seven years. And um, uh, I have this experience working with uh, Silas on this project and, and I'm happy to be here with you today to share my experience. Okay, um, hi everyone. My name is Bukola James, and I've been part of this uh, peer network since 2021. And yes, it's been a good um, network of um, leaders coming together to share insights and also like provide supports for um, educational leaders within their network. So I'm from Nigeria and I'm also a member of the EduWiki Africa uh, Network. So happy to be here and thank you. Thanks, Bukola. And it's, it's interesting also to see like how the members of the, like, the Ruby who uh, is our community specialist for Sub-Saharan Africa, after being part of the EOC or the HBK Outreach Collaborators, she started uh, podcasts. So now you have like stories from like African community members that you can listen to and get inspired and understand their context, understand the work they're doing region and how inspiring it is. But I actually want to start with you like to know more about your experiences. Uh, Nebosha, you mentioned that you have been with this cohort, I think since the pilot we started like two years back. How has been your experience? And Bukola, you are relatively new, I, you know, just one year. Yeah. So what has been your experiences being part of a peer support network? Um, yeah, for Wikimedia Serbia, it was, um, let's say, a logical step because um, we started our education program in 2005. 
so quite a long time ago. <laughs> And um, this opportunity was important for us because we wanted to um, set it up at a um, higher level uh, and to share our experience with, with the, the whole region uh, and the rest of the world. world. So um, uh, my experience personally um, was really good because uh, the whole process was very simple. I felt personally uh, like uh, guided through the whole process. And um, I definitely um, learned a lot um, through this project for the last two years. So um, it was really great. And I would also like to thank you for, for coordinating everything and for being there um, for us. OK, um, so for me, I would say it's a great learning experience and an opportunity to like enhance my communication skill because uh, we discovered that there was a need for um, educational leaders, people who have been doing exciting projects and activities to like share their projects with other people who would also like want to learn from uh, the best practices from some of the projects that they've implemented. But then there was no documentation, there was no like um, something that could like provide a guide aside for maybe the final reports, the rights after the projects and the likes. So we thought that it would be best to also like um, have a space where they could share uh, some of their experience in form of a, a, a podcast and also like um, write about their activities. So it's not just about documenting for reporting sake, but also like having people learn more about the project. So uh, for me, it's a, it's a great learning experience and also like an opportunity uh, to engage many people. And uh, I think uh, being part of the eWork has also like helped me uh, better understand how we can like um, amplify our voices in terms of um, helping people learn more about what uh, educational leaders are doing in their various community. And I think it's a great one and it's, it's, it's a good one because uh, having to like have this podcast, have a, a, a place where they could share their story. And uh, I see that it's also kind of provide a lot of uh, opportunity for people outside of the wiki education space to also learn from what we do. So. I think it's it's been great and yeah that's yeah thanks for sharing that perspective Bukola. I'm I'm also like interested to know that you're telling a, a bit about the impact that it has created on you. Yeah. Do you have like any experience or someone you know like sharing that the impact that it has happened to them like being like the support that we have provided through the as an edu 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 outreach collaborator member? Okay, yes. Um so uh before I think before 2021, uh, the community, the African, the EduWiki community in Africa have been really doing a lot of programs and activity. But like most of them were not uh, familiar with the newsletter. Uh, like they do not know that there was an existing network that could like provide uh, support for them in terms of mentorship and also like um, guide them through some of the programs. Maybe they needed uh, advice or like they need someone to just um, guide, um, assist them during implementation or like provide a guideline on how to go about the planning for their projects and all that. But then uh, I have got a lot of people reaching out to me, telling me that, oh, Buki, I would like to feature my uh, story or I would like to feature what I do in the education newsletter. And it makes me happy because I know, uh, I feel like, yes, we are really achieving uh, something at the end of the day because we get people who want to reach out to us, who want to showcase their projects. So it's, it's, a, it's a good one. And I think I've um, had a lot of engagements with people uh, in terms of like they want to learn how to uh, submit their activities, they want their their projects to be featured in the newsletter and all that. So, and yes, it, um, 
there was some time we even had to like organize online training to guide them on how to uh, go about some of these things. So, yes. I'll, I'll be back to you, Nebosha. So, uh, last year, I think I was reading the report of Wikimedia Sub. And you, had, and you mentioned something in your uh, introduction as well, like how with, within Wikimedia Serbia, you are exploring that the activities that you are doing does not only help the country or the region in Serbia, but also goes beyond Serbia, serves to the community or helps to the community uh, within uh, CEE or global. So I read in the last uh, uh, progress report, annual report of Wikimedia Serbia that the uh, Eduwiki outreach collaborators was mentioned as like a regionalization ap approach towards like providing support within the CEE region. So my question is like, when you think of that as a regionalization approach, what comes to your mind as EOC being like regionalized, being supported by a particular region and build something out of it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely think that um, um, uh, putting that uh, on the regional level would definitely help to hear more from some smaller communities. Um, you remember we organized the first CE meeting within uh, EVO group and we had so many participants. Cyprus. Back then, yeah. I have never met like, anyone from Cyprus before. So that yeah. was the first time yeah, I met yeah. someone yeah. from Cyprus. Yeah. And uh, they were all like willing to participate, to share their experience. And I think uh, some chapters or user groups uh, were uh, felt very welcome to, to share um, everything with us at that time. So um, that uh, practice shows that uh, regional um, or, uh, organizing uh, such things at regional levels is uh, very important. Uh, I think in CU region we have uh, that kind of problem with the smaller um, um, chapters or user groups uh, that are not uh, active enough and they have uh, really good things to share with others. They have uh, many good practices but they are not visible um, so much. Um, um, setting everything uh, in that way would also help uh, overcome um, those uh, time zones and uh, organizing all kinds of meetings because uh, it's feels uh, like um, it is much easier in organizational <laughs> uh, terms. And um, it's really important uh, not to um, forget that some regions are um, feeling very close uh, because of some cultural and historical and social um, um, things they share all together. Uh, some regions um, um, feeling closer because of the language as well. So uh, I think uh, that would be really uh, great uh, because they can also organize some um, joint programs or, or projects. Um, like for example, we tried before COVID or actually the, the year COVID starts with North Macedonia to organize that week camp for high school um, uh, students. So, um, and uh, the the last thing, but um, uh, also very important, is that uh, it could be possible to mo motivate uh, teachers and professors from schools and faculties to participate more in that kind of, of events uh, when we talk about regional levels. That's exciting. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking of like, have you? Have you ever had a chance to like, you know, work together with like the education staff within the CEE to like think of something like how can we build this sub network and like support each other in the work as well? Um, well, this experience with Evo uh, helped me and uh, motivated me to participate um, in the men mentorship program. Um, that um, user group uh, Wikimedia and Education organized and uh, I participated twice. So I had a chance to share my experience with uh, my colleagues from um, Philippines, Nigeria, Ghana. And uh, I also participated in the podcast 
Oh, yeah. it will be organized. Yeah, um, I also uh, had a chance to uh, talk to others uh, about that, and I think that uh, kind of uh, uh, mentorship program is a great example of how it can be done. Uh, but also um, some maybe working groups, yeah, um, like the one we heard, let's connect or see hub or uh, things like that. Yeah. Yes, it feels like, you know, like we are all so interconnected with the work, like one thing connects to another and that helps like others who are part of our community or our movement. Um, so now I'll come back to Bukola. Bukola newsletter team within the Edubiki Outreach Collaborators has been self-organizing, I think for last, like we started like the newsletter team like two and a half years back and it has been like self-organizing for the last one and a half years. I have, like done nothing like initially during the initial days I would support a bit on that but this group has been very independent within the Edwiki Outreach Collaborators group and uh, my question for you is where do you see the future of this group whether it's a newsletter team whether you see the Edwiki Outreach Collaborators what what future comes to it and like where this model best fit in Okay, uh, so for the future, I think uh, it goes beyond just um, the newsletter. We also like see uh, the communication evolving over time, like also like um, thinking out of not just getting stories for the newsletter, but also like um, helping people get featured on not just the podcast, but like having like an interview uh, like a physical interview where you like meet with these um, education leaders and like you get to provide an opportunity for them to um, talk more about their projects and activities. So uh, also we see the newsletter going beyond just um, um, talking about what people are doing in the education, but also like inviting other people outside of the Wikimedia education to like talk more about um, from their own context, how they see education and how we can like align what the Wikimedia education is doing with uh, what they are doing in their various organization and institution. So I, I see it going beyond just engaging uh, Wikimedians, but also like uh, providing opportunity for people outside of the Wikimedia education uh, community to also kind of talk about what they do. But that aligns with what we are doing, yes. But that's a good point. But I also wanted to like hear your perspective around like, maybe both of you, like Nebosha and Bukola, like, where, where do you see the future of EOC? You know, we talk about like, yes, we are looking for like a bigger audience to come to us, you know, use our platforms, share their stories, but also like where, where, where does the EOC stand in the next few years? <laughs> um, I would say definitely in uh, setting more of these regional connections. And um, uh, I would not like to forget uh, connecting uh, then regions um, between each other because, for example, we have a really good education program at Argentina. They have really developed like a lot of learning materials, for example, and I think it's uh, also important to share that way, not only on regional level, but uh, I would definitely go for, for um, yeah. That's so kind with, the, that with the regional focus, but also like a global goal. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. you can exactly. talk to each yeah. other in a global level, yeah. but still work in the regional as well to support each other. Yeah. Um, do we have any questions for this group? Has anyone here attended any regional meeting that we have organized before? Okay. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you were a speaker in one of them, right, Amanda? Yeah. yeah. Abraham is our look, one of the organizers, yes. So, no questions? Maybe I'll ask you a question. So, what kind of support do you need from the movement entities to support the work that you are doing as a group, as a peer support group, to be more self-organizing and providing the support to the community? 
Uh, you, you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I would uh, say that uh, it would be best to have like uh, more knowledge uh, on how to do these kind of things, because uh, maybe um, some chapters or user groups have more experience in that, because it's not easy to coordinate uh, so many um, chapters. Uh, on a regional level, so definitely uh, some experience uh, um, about that and uh, support in uh, um, maybe organizing signing person events uh, um, sometimes. Okay. Yeah. You have a response? <laughs> Plus one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we are the going in the Wikimedian way. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, so we are coming up with a new cohort of EOG. We are still like restructuring, re-strategizing and re-scoping three R's, uh, not the recycle and thing, but what we are re-scoping. So you will hear more updates about the, uh, this peer support network and where it stands in the future and what new did we bring with the next cohort. I will be sharing more links about it. We look forward for your participation. We look forward to create the space of like learning, collaboration and one thing I forgot to mention that the ownership of a platform so we want you to own this platform as your own. So thank you very much for joining us. Oh. Sure. Uh, yeah. So one thing that Nebusha did mention that how when he joined the uh, when when he joined as a member of uh, the EOG that actually encouraged him to like join as a mentor mentor for the e, uh, for the uh, user group as well. And, and a few of the members were always. Uh, were, who have been part of the uh, EOC mem are also part of the user group uh, activities when, in terms of like mem mentorship, being a mentee, and providing support with the newsletter. Yeah, and I think some of them became uh, EOC members uh, after mentorship. After program, mentorship yeah. as well, yeah. So it's, we're also trying to find that interconnection, Shani, like how you know it can fit together, it can be the best way of like, how do you, how do you frame it, like the, the connection or the joint between the user group and this particular group like working together for supporting the community so yeah thank you thank you silas thank you bukola and nebosha